Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Performer Talk with me, your host Simon South. I hope you're all doing wonderfully well. You're enjoying the week in the UK now. We're kind of, sort of, nearly, maybe, coming out of lockdown, which is awesome. It's brilliant. It's really good. It means that us performers can start getting out there and start doing gigs again, which is excellent news. And I really hope that you enjoyed my little uh, mini series as well, which was what's in the bag. I hope you had fun watching that. I definitely had fun filming it. I just thought it might be quite interesting for you to see what other performers might carry around and get to see what you don't normally get a chance to actually see. Um, but today is a very special episode because talking about gigs, everyone, guess what? I had my first real life gig recently. Yeah. It was great. It was such good fun. Had an amazing time there. It was for a place called The Hive. Now, for those that don't know what The Hive is, it is a place on the Wirral and it is for children between 8 and 19. Sometimes it goes up to 25 if needed. And it's a specialised, built place, completely custom made specifically for this purpose. It's also known as the Youth Zone. As I said, it's on the Wirral. It is a wonderful place and I was so happy to be part of their birthday celebrations. I had an amazing time. I had great fun. Now as well, massive shout out to Ella because Ella helped massively with getting the footage that you're probably going to see in a minute. And also huge shout out to Joe. Joe is the person that got me in to do the gig. Now, why am I telling you this? It's because what I decided to do was, after doing the what's in the bag, uh, I thought, well, let's see it in real life. Let's see it in person. Let's see how it looks to a person that I'm performing for. So I decided that I would film my journey going from home to the gig and then back again so that you could see the whole thing. You could see, you know, me actually performing, see me going to the gig, see me, you know, checking it out, making sure everything's good, you know, all those little extra fun things. Um, and I've combined them in a montage just for you guys. So hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, definitely please do f uh, go and follow The Hive on Instagram. I know that they're there. They're a wonderful, wonderful organisation, well worthy of your time. So go and have a look. But in the meantime, check out this little montage video coming at you right now. Here we go!
So there we go, everybody. There we go. I hope you enjoyed that little video. I say it was an amazing time performing for them there. I did do three performances there. I did a workshop first, and then I did a stage show for them, and then I did do close-up magic. Just so you know, it was all completely COVID safe. I was wearing a face mask, they did my temperature at the door. The only time I wasn't wearing a face mask when I was performing there was when I was doing the little cabaret stage show, and that's because I was two meters distance away from everyone. In fact, I was probably a little bit further. Um, so yeah, we were all completely COVID compliant. Um, we were using antibacterial hand wash uh, and, and they have their own rules as well. Um, so yeah, it was all completely safe, but you know what? It was just wonderful to be able to go out and do it again and to be there and just see what it is that I do making people happy and hearing the claps and the cheers again. And it's very, very rare when doing a Zoom show that people clap and cheer unless you tell them to. <laughs> Whereas in a live environment, it's pretty spontaneous. And not gonna lie, I missed it. <laughs> Just a, just a little bit. Well, there we go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you haven't already, please do hit that subscribe button. That would be most excellent of you. That would be absolutely amazing. Also, if you like the video, give it a little like, a little thumbs up. It really helps a lot, it really, really does. And please leave a comment of your thoughts down below. Let me know what you thought of the little video, whether you liked it, whether you didn't. Either way, I hope you got something out of it. And no matter where you are in the world, have a wonderful day, evening or afternoon, and I will see you all on the next video. Thanks so much. See you then.